Hi guys, my name is Lise from Ellie, formerly known as ESL Library, and today I want to show you how you can complete our digital matching task. This is the digital version of the vocabulary preview activity that you can find in our PDF lessons. However, we're going to focus on the digital lesson today, so let's go down to our task player. From here you can see the various activities that are listed along the side panel in the toolbar. Today we're looking at our matching activity, which you can see are numbers three and number four. So let's go ahead and click on number three. Now that we've selected the matching activity, we can read the instructions. Match each word or phrase with the correct definition. When you're ready, click Start. Once inside the activity, the students will be able to see the vocabulary terms at the top of the page and the definitions underneath. In this activity, students must first click on a vocabulary term and then click on the definition that they believe is correct. You can continue this process of clicking and selecting a definition until all have been chosen. When you're finished, click I'm finished. From here, the student will be able to see how they did and they will be able to review their answers or try again. Let's click on review answers. From here, you'll be able to see all of the ones that you got wrong as well as all of the correct answers. This is a great way for students to self-correct and then try again. To redo the answers, click Try Again. This will take you back to the first instruction page where you can click Start and redo your exercises. Let's try the activity again by selecting the term at the top and then choosing the correct definition. If the student makes a mistake and they would like to change their answers, simply click on the vocabulary term again and it will pop back up to the top. You can then choose a new word and change your selection. When finished, click I'm finished. When you're happy with your answers, you are then able to close the activity completely by clicking the X in the corner or return to the task list and choose another activity. So there you have it. That's the matching activity in the digital homework. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Happy teaching.